Hello, welcome to Presume Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 13, Loops in C Sharp. In this session, we'll talk about while loop. In C Sharp, there are four different types of loops. While loop, do while loop, for loop, for each loop. In a later session, we'll talk about the other loops. In this session, we will talk about while loop. So, let's look at an example. Now, I want you to write a C Sharp program using while loop, which will ask the user to enter his target number. Let's say, for example, if the user enters 10, then your program should print even numbers until 10, just like this. Okay, so let's write our program. Let's copy that. So we want to ask the user to enter his target number. So console.write line. So prompt the user to enter his target. And then once the user enters his target, we need to read that from the console. So console.read line. So we read the number that's entered by the user and we need a variable to store that. So let's create a variable user target equals that. But console dot write uh, read line reads the number as a string format from the console. So we need to convert that into integer and to do that we can use the parse method. So int dot parse. So now we have the user's target. Now we need to start printing even numbers from zero until the target. So we need a variable you know, to start at zero. So let's create an integer variable called start and initialize that to zero. Now while start is less than or equal to user target, what we need to do, we need to print start and then we need to increment start by 2 so what's happening here so this is the beginning of the while loop okay while and then we have a boolean expression here while start start at the moment is 0 while start is less than or equal to user target if the user has entered 10 0 is less than or equal to 10 so this boolean expression will be evaluated to true and the control gets into the block here it prints out the start start at the moment is zero so it prints out zero and then it increments the value of start by two and then comes to, to check the expression once again is two less than or equal to ten that's true prints two increments it to by two start becomes four so this process is repeated until this expression is evaluated to false. So let's imagine what's going to happen when the value of start is 10. Now when is 10 less than or equal to 10? That's true. Comes here, prints 10, increment the start variable by another 2. So start becomes 12. Is 12 less than or equal to 10? That condition is false. So it skips this block, comes here and terminates the program. So let's see this program in action. So when I press Ctrl F5 to run this program, please enter your target. Let's say 10, 0246810. Press any key to continue. The program terminates. Now let's say what's going to happen if I forget to have this condition there. If you don't have that line there, the start will always be 0. And if the user has entered 10, 0 will always be less than or equal to 10. And this condition will never become true because of which the control will never come out of this while loop. So we will create a never ending loop. Let me quickly run this uh, program. But before I run that, let me open the task manager so I can, I can show you the processor. Okay, the processor usage currently is at you know 70 percent okay but let's go ahead and run this program please enter your target okay now let's say i enter my target as 10 look at this it's printing 0000, 000 and look at the processor usage it's just going up and up and up 
that's basically because our program has got into a never-ending loop this program is never going to end because start will always be zero and zero will always be less than or equal to 10 and this condition will always be true so it continues to print that never endingly okay so now the moment I close this program the process usage will fall down automatically so remember that's very important to update the variable that participates in the boolean expression so that it becomes it makes the condition false at some point time and the loop will ultimately end otherwise we risk creating never-ending loops and if you look at the output that I wanted I want the output to be present in the same line but if you look at our program it prints even number on every even number on a new line for example let's say 10 oh. let's run this once again by pressing control F5 if I enter 10 it prints each even number on a new line I want all the even numbers on the same line and to do that we can say console.write but we'll have a small problem here which we will correct 10 look at this all even numbers are, are concatenated together I want a space between each even number in that case just append a space here now if I go ahead and run this enter your target so each even number has a space between them all right so we have seen how to use a while loop and print even numbers in our next session we'll actually talk about do while loop okay but let's review while loop while loop as we know it checks the condition fast and if that condition is true statements within the loop are executed this process continues as long as the boolean condition evaluates to true the moment it becomes false you know it skips the blocks and go to the next statement after the while loop and very important keep in mind to update the variable that participates in the condition so that the loop can end at some point so in the next session we'll talk about do while loop and then we'll find out the differences between while and do while loop that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day